Hello, good morning. Did I pr pronounce it right today? Bista. Yes. Bista. We are heading to Bista. There's only one thing for it when I start the vlog it like this. We are heading to Bista Village. So today is a little bit different. I'm actually working with Bista Village because they've invited me to an amazing lifestyle slash well-being retreat. So I'm doing some yoga, I'm doing some meditation, I'm having a massage. Um, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of that and then tomorrow after I've done a cooking class, myself and Matt are going to do lots and lots of shopping. You'll get my usual shopping segment tomorrow morning. So we are starting the day with a yoga class. I've got some Lulu Lemon kit on. Such a nice way to start a Thursday. The area that I'm in now is basically the Vista Village personal yeah. shopping area. I had no idea the area I just did yoga in and it is so incredibly beautiful. So if you kind of want to do personal shopping, it's where you come. So I'm going to give you a really quick tour. over my gym kit um, and yeah so we're still in the VIP area which is like personal shopping I can't believe how pretty it is um, and now we're going to do a cycle thing so I'm just in a shop called Braffa and it's a cycling shop and um, we're going to get a coffee and then we're going to do some cycling guess who won the cycling challenge I did so I'm just with Victoria and Alice and we're just having a quick look around now, but then I'm coming back and doing like proper, proper shopping where I'll vlog every single bit of it tomorrow. Say hi to Alice and Vic. Hello. Vic. <laughs> hi. Um, so yeah, we went into Rafa, which is a cycling store, which I've never been into and it's actually really nice. But we're just gonna go and quickly nip to Dior and have a little look around. Vic is the biggest deal lover you'll ever see in your life. I mean, she already has a pair of these boots. Sure. I've got 30. Oh, they're, they're almost identical to these ones. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is your perfect shop. I love these. Your dream come true. I'm literally in my element. Look at this bag. This is cute. just left Vista Village, but don't worry, I'll be back tomorrow and I will do the whole shopping thing and do my usual vlog and take you around and shop with me. And now we're just at Dalesford Farm. We are having some lunch. Vic got caught. Mm. I got sweet potato, doll. This is 
noodles salad it looks really good and this salad looks unreal just had the loveliest lunch and now we are about to go for a spa treatment oh my lordy inside Dalesford, um, Dalesford Cafe farm shop kind of area and um, there's a really good idea of things that you can do when you visit this because it's all just kind of looking down the road so it's perfect. So we're going to do some meditation which I don't know if I've never done meditation in my life and I get really bored really easily so I wonder how I'm going to cope with this um, and then we'll check into a hotel. So we just checked in to the Wild Rabbit Meditation it was amazing. I want to book out Dalesford Farm for my wedding and for my family to go to. It's so beautiful. So like I was saying, this is all really cool stuff that you can do near Bista Village. So you can really make a weekend of it, like do shopping Saturday and Sunday and then stay here and just brunch and eat. So I'm at the Wild Rabbit. Um, so beautiful. I'll give you a quick room tour, although I've messed it up. And then I have a little present. That you looked up on me is telling me I should go. I'm about to head downstairs in the Wild Rabbit Hotel to have some dinner with everyone from Vista Village. Then I'm going to go to sleep and get ready because it's a shopping day. We're doing some cooking in the morning at Dalesford Farm and then we are having a shopping day at Vista Village. So it's time for the standard M Goes to Vista vlog. So I'm wearing, in case you were wondering, this faux fur jacket which is the comfiest jacket ever. These boots, this jumper dress, and everything I mentioned will be linked below. Just click show more. So, dinner. Good morning. So today is the day that I do my shopping vlog at Vista Village. So I'm basically going to go and do a cooking class at Dalesford farm which is actually my favourite place ever, raid the deli and buy everything um, for lunch and then I'm heading over to Vista so first let's go and cook and then it's time for you guys to come shopping with me. I'm wearing this coat and the cutest little skirt. So me and Vic are just making, how do you pronounce it, shashuka? I have some avocado below and I'm just going to whip this up. Actually, Vic did the main part. Mm. I think think need a little bit longer. I think we need longer. And then I did the guac. Guac, guac, guac. Ah, uh, huevos, rancheros, ranchos, rancheros, rancheros. Mm. Eat the chia pudding. Chia pudding, yum. So the cooking class at Dalesford was absolutely amazing. So all of this stuff is super, super close to Bista. Um, it's like a half an hour drive, maybe a little bit further, um, but it's a really good place to stay and visit. I'm waiting for, let's go and explore Bista Village. Sometimes they're a bit funny with me filming in here. So if the filming isn't the best, I apologize. Um, let's go and see what I can get. I need to get a new bag because my Gucci is a little bit broken. Are you ready? Are you excited? I'm ready. Let's We're go. ready to shop. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at mshellx, by the way, guys because I show all of my fashion stuff on there and yes, I've changed my top. Kudos to those of you who noticed, let's go. It's 
So I always go into acne in Vista Village. The acne is always amazing. The stuff is so nice and the price point is actually really good too. I really, really, really wanted all of the coats and all of the jumpers from Acne. They're just so nice and as most people know, Acne is a really expensive brand and they do often have Acne leather jackets in here. So if you are after one of those, it's definitely worth coming and getting it from here. So I have two Burberry jackets. One of them is like a kind of over cape, which I actually sold in here for 600 pounds. And the other one is a Burberry trench and they had trenches in Vista Village. I think they started from 550. I fell in love with these ones, they were 900. This bag was about 600 and it was gorgeous. The bags in Burberry at Vista are always so well priced. I'm finding it a lot harder to film today than usual um, in the stores, which is understandable. Um, it's not that easy to go around a designer store with a camera. So a lot of you guys asked me about Burberry. Couldn't film the Burberry scarves because um, there's a security guard stood next to them. But the Burberry scarves, they didn't have the traditional check one that I have. Everyone always asks me this. Um, they had one in like a mustard colour and one in a dark blue colour. And they had the traditional print one with like gold tassels on the end. So I hope that helps in the future. Okay, more shopping. <laughs> This time round, I didn't see any of the gorgeous Kenzo logo jumpers, but they had the nicest skirts and dresses. These would be good for spring. Um, and they also just got new in the amazing shoes. I was gonna buy these full price. Um, I didn't actually buy any um, today because I bought some from Chanel, but the shoes in the Kenzo are incredible. Um, so this is kind of a new collection they've got in. And it's so nice to see the stuff actually still quite new in store. And now it's coming here. So Valentino had a lot of bags. A lot of them were very sparkly, um, but I love this one so much. They were kind of like the random size, which is why I didn't get one because I'm going for more of a big bag. But I actually really liked them. I thought the collection in Valentino was really good. completely changed in Valentino because they didn't have these shoes last time so it's definitely worth going in if it is something you've always had your eye on. Like Chloe clothes they are so well priced for Chloe in a Chloe store. Had some incredible purses and card holders the bags weren't to my taste but they did have a lot of stuff. I always, always go into Sandro when I'm in Vista Village. They have the best coats ever. They always tend to have an extra 20% off as well off the sale price, so it's usually very good. It's really good for men's as well. As you can see, the jackets are just epic and so well priced, so I'd always rather buy it from Vista than pay full price. I already have a purse from YSL and a, a two side bags and the stuff in YSL this time around was really really nice. This particular black bag, they didn't have it in white anymore but they had the black over the body one. The shoes are really well priced from about 180 to 280 Love these, these were 280 The backpacks are just so cool. I love these trainers but they only have them in men's sizes. And then the bags start from about £600 and go up to about £2,000. Some of the little bucket bags were about £900. Absolutely love YSL leather jackets, Matt was very tempted. I was tempted by this bag which was £600.
This Tommy XGG Hadid jumper dress is incredible. It was 166 and if it was a touch cheaper, I would have definitely got it. But I can't justify that much money just on a jumper dress. But the Tommy Hilfiger stuff and the Ralph Lauren stuff at this day is always amazing. Again, I actually have this dress and it was very expensive. And um, again, with Ralph Lauren and Tommy, you're always best getting it from an outlet. They have so much good stuff for guys and girls. So I always go into Tommy Hilfiger, it's, it's quite late now, so it's getting dark. Always going to Tommy Hilfiger to see if they've got this jumper and they never ever have it. But they did have the Tommy GG range and they had the nicest dress ever, the um, white one with like the roll neck jumper dress. But it's 166, which is actually a lot cheaper than usual um, and it was beautiful. They've got loads of new restaurants since I spent my cake and they have like a cute little hot chocolate and marshmallow van and a Lola's cupcake. How exciting. Matt's just doing emails behind me. So I've just been into Givenchy and the bag that I was holding is £850 I think and I know that sounds like a lot but it's actually really good for Givenchy, basically my Gucci bag um, which I use every single day, it's just like my day bag, it fits my lap pin, I throw everything in it, I don't look after it, it's huge and it fits everything in, I need a new one because the handles are going a bit disgusting so I think I'm going to get the Givenchy, I'm currently deciding between the big YSL, the black one, that Givenchy and I'm going to quickly pop into Gucci as well and see which one to get, I just need like an every day shopper kind of bag and um, I'm just going to show it Wiseman first I really want to see if they have any knee high boots. Stuart Wiseman is absolutely incredible. I really want some Stuart Wiseman boots, particularly the grey ones. I was just waiting to see how much they were in here and they were reduced to about £500. Absolutely love them. So Gucci, I already have a GG logo belt and a GG logo bag. I bought the belt full price and I got the bag from Vista Village and actually a purse as well. The bag was about £800 and they no longer sell that one. I always get asked about it. I love these though and I always love this one. This one was amazing and I actually want the full price version in nude but not in croc leather. So that particular one was 6000 because it was in croc leather. I actually thought the shoes in Gucci were amazing this time around if you're looking for some flats. They had really gorgeous little flats and trainers and some good boots. That's belly each and all day, so we're going to go to our favourite place for food at Vista. Sorry that I filmed like half my chin. My arm is literally not long enough to reach me, so we're going to go to a farm shop for some food now. It's very loud in here. My face is very close to the camera. I look so sweaty. Um, I'm gonna go back to Givenchy now and buy the bag. It was delicious. So I've decided to get the Givenchy bag because it's actually really durable. I'll talk to you about it when I get home properly. Um, I'm gonna go buy that. Oh, actually, can we quickly go in the Lemon because it's really cheap. They have leggings from like 29 pounds. I didn't even realise I had a Lululemon at Vista Village and oh my goodness, it is incredible. So Lululemon is really, really expensive usually and they did have leggings from £29, some were £59 but still, if you know Lululemon you'll know that this is very well priced. Much like Sandro, Marge always has the most amazing sales on and they had the nicest coats ever. Also, these trainers were very cute.
back into the launching. So yes, my pronunciation is wrong, but this time they had the Givenchy Antigona bag, and um, the tote shopper bag, and it came all the way from Paris. They were telling me that they get all of their stock kind of new in from Paris, which is why it's not that heavily discounted, but the, wow, they had some epic stuff. Watch till the end to see what I went for. Always love Montclair and we wanted to get this hat for our trip to New York next week but they were reduced to £80. I was actually going to buy one full price. The only reason I didn't I like get one is it because the queue was ridiculously long. The coats, they didn't have them in my size, this one was way too small um, and they were from about £500 to £900, obviously I'd wear it with jeans. This one was a bit better fit wise and was so comfy and this was £900. Can see Matt? Hey guys, so I am back from Vista Village now. I'm just in my office. I have a light on because it is literally pitch black out aside. Can we talk about how nice my nails are? Got these done at a place called Ragdoll Nails. I literally love them. Okay, enough of the rambling. We are here to talk about the Givenchy, which yes, I cannot pronounce. I can only speak French when drunk, so I hope this doesn't offend anyone watching. Um, so I just wanted to quickly show you what I bought, basically, just to end the video. Dun, dun, dun. So yes, I got the Givenchy Antigona, and this is the shopping tote version of the Antigona. Um, the reason I went for this is because I actually just needed to replace my Gucci bag. I have quite a few designer handbags now, um, but they're all different shapes and sizes. Goodness, I look so horrific and pale with this light. Um, they're all different shapes and sizes. Um, so I do have a few Gucci's, a few ISLs, but they're smaller. I wanted something that I can literally put my laptop in, put my life in, put my camera in, and just kind of take it to the train station, take it everywhere with me. So a shopper bag made sense. But this one is really, really nice. You guys might hate it. I really like it. So the handles are incredibly firm and I really needed some strong handles. In the shop was saying about this one that they only had two and that they came all the way from Paris and that the reason they weren't discounted like much at all is because they're still kind of selling it. Um, and apparently it's a ridiculously popular bag. So I hope that helps. It comes with a little clutch inside. And I'm so happy. I'm going to fill it up, use it. So click the subscribe button if you haven't already and you'll see me using that in New York next week. So I'm going to use it as like my flight bag and just kind of get to grips with it. So I honestly had the best time with Bista Village. Just kind of doing things that are near Bista Village, looking at the local area, doing the yoga, eating amazing food. I've fallen in love with not just Bista, you guys know I love Bista, but the surrounding area as well and I'll definitely be back. And next time I'll definitely stay over again in one of the surrounding areas and do like two days shopping and then have a really nice dinner and lunch at Dalesford for example. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video guys. I know it was a little bit different to my other Bista videos but it's really nice to show the well-being side of it. Don't forget to click subscribe and come and say hello on Instagram and Twitter at mshellex. I would love, love, love to have you guys. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought to the stuff that I picked up. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next videos um, while I'm going to be in New York. So make sure you're following my Insta stories for that. Bye guys, thank you for watching.